Hello. All right. So here we are. Uh, palace release. Uh, an interlocking competition. Uh, let's talk about a couple of things. So, of course, palace is uh, released. We're going to be doing pulls on that banner. Uh, it's going to be a little bit. I want to go over a couple of things, but um, probably about 10, 15 minutes in. Um, beeswax, Tuscany, and Perfumer costumes release. You can get Neural and Ropes uh, summer costumes if you want. And a white wilderness themed furniture set. And then, of course, the interlocking competition. Uh, and in the interlocking competition is uh, Patinko's uh, pajamas, I guess you could say, uniform. Uh, and then the palace raid up, the uniforms there, the uniforms there, themed furniture set, and all that stuff. Um, new um, story deals, so Blaze got her story release thing. Uh, and things with the uh, free... <clears throat> Uh, free 200 and then we also have gravel and Durin the same you want to do those uh, that's pretty much it uh, I would I would if you don't know what you're doing, I would seriously consider looking up guides for the interlock competition. It is, it's pretty complicated of how it's supposed to be laid out and everything, I think. So, uh, Kostovin, I think, has already released a video of what to do, how to, you know, get it done. Let me do my uh, recruitments here, and then we'll get into the headhunting part. So, this is the banner. Uh, the only new operator in this banner is Palace Six Star. Uh, the other rate ups are uh, Spectre, Project Red as the five stars. But the only new operator is Palace. So let's go and use our single tickets first. We'll put the counter on the screen. That by one. And next, new bag it is. Code name is so there's no new four star, no new five star. So we're just going to be skipping uh, everybody here. Unless it's a six star. White bag. Terrible. You're not terrible, Pop Car, but you're being here is terrible. I would like to have the six star, please. Oh. ハイビスクスです。みんなからはハイビスって呼ばれてます。今日からドクター。はじめまして、ドクター。私はビーンストーク。プロフェッショナルブリーダー。Oh shit, I wasn't expecting it. It's a six star. Minos Karamaidimasta, Saishi no Parasides. Okonata be Rodos de Hitoikit Cassete Tadakimas. Toa itamono, no, wish to end the video of Modena Shio Setsuni Negaimas. So stay sorry, Johnny. Senjo Katsubo stayed in my prime. That's lovely. Thank you very much for coming, Paulus. I'm sorry to say I'm not going to be really building you for a long time. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see you. Uh, thank you for coming. In five pulls. I didn't even run run out of red, out of regular tickets. I had one more regular ticket left, man. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess we could talk about Paulus. Uh, let me bring up. 
it is. But, uh, yeah, that's a uh, pool number five. Was here, so that's the thing. Bring it over here, and I will. I just I'll just add it as a window capture. As you can see, I'm going to be building Rose as my next operator. I have everything for except for credits and uh, XP, so that's what I'm just waiting on to build her. But Alice here is a instructor guard, uh, can attack distance enemies, so she has some range on her. Uh, attack increased 120% when attacking enemies not blocked by self, so you put her behind a defender. Uh, depending on her skill you use, you can also put her back even further and have two people in front of her, if you want. Because um, one of her skills increases her range another time. So she does, a, she gets like minus one deployment cause, deployment cooldown, attack power up, second talent enhance, and deployment cost minus. Uh, Trust gives her plus 300 HP and 50, 50 attack. Um... Her uh, deal when deployed, all Minos operators gain vigor effect of 25% when HP is triggered, higher than 80%. And let's see, I don't know if I can go by action here. I don't think I can. Let me see if I can find some action. over here okay so operators in the Minos faction is Conviction Alice Sidroka Vulcan but they are not these are not perfumer and croissant were born but not are not part of the faction and the MTC Iller Uriel Prize were affiliated with Informed Minos, but they're affiliated, so it's not a deal in you. That's not an operator. Anyway, so Conviction, Sidroka, and Vulcan is who she'll buff. That's the only ones, it seems like. So not many people can get that buff. Uh, Vulcan would like the buff, I'm pretty sure. Gives like close 25% attack, so. Uh, Convection is hit or miss because she's trolly, because she's an April Fool's operator. Um, every hit against an enemy recovers 40 HP base, 45 if you have the uh, talent enhancement on her. And the operator in the tile ahead of self. So the bone person in front of her gains 45 HP uh, when Palace hits an enemy. Uh, she has the, uh, when stationed at a craft station, storage capacity plus 8 and mood reduction per hour minus 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and then, uh, that stays the same as she gets, when stationed at a craft station, increase her production of XP cards by 25%. Uh, great if you don't have anybody else, but once you have the main team you should be aiming for, and I will show you. I, let me turn that off and go down and let me head to the base. I don't think I have my team in there right now. I was letting their morale is the, uh, uh, the deals always throw me off the maintenances. So your main team, the one you want the most is going to be, um, I'll show you here. You're going to want, um, so you're going to want 
in a theater, 35%, conviction, 35%, and Shiryuki, 30%. So these are all better than her right now. And then your second team will be on your, if you're going a, uh, if you're going your factories to goal to XP, you'll want scene to give uh, productivity, and then she gives a, uh, a capacity plus 12 when producing battle records. Uh, she gives 25%, which is the same as Palace, um, but she also gives uh, a capacity increase, which is an extra bonus, of course. Uh, it's a more capacity increase than Palace. Palace is only plus 8, but she does have a moral reduction, so if you want her for the moral reduction so you don't have to change her out as much, that would be good. Uh, Siabi is your next operator for the second team, uh, second factory. When this operator signed to factory, capacity limit plus eight, so the exact same thing as Palace up here. And right now is she gives signed to a factory productivity plus 20% in the first hour and thereafter plus 1% up to four, per hour up to 25%. You would re actually replace CAB with Palace if you, if you wanted to. If you don't have CAB but have Palace, that's fine. As long as you E2 Palace to unlock her second deal. Uh, because uh, Palace does not need the ramp up time, so it's automatic. Uh, you no longer need a ramp up time with CAB to increase it. Uh, it's just better in every way uh, than CABs. So if you want to, you can use Palace in place of CAB. Uh, is that, and then you have your Vermel, who has the exact same first uh, skill. And then um, increase, uh, operators assigned to the factory increase all capacity limits at 2% productivity. So uh, as she increases the same amount as your CAB does, then you will end up with the same amount of uh, production. We can pick our production lines. Um, so we're right now at 91. When CAB gets up to full, that'll add five. That's 96 production. You'll start out with 96 production automatically. You don't have to start out at 91. Force scene also takes a little bit to ramp up uh, to her um, her 25%. Uh, so add a another actually add another um, uh, let's see. 10% on top of that, so 106% would be the max when scene is fully maxed out. You would get 106% productivity, but that would actually just go down. Um, so it's kind of interchangeable, really, with uh, CAB, because you, if you're using scene, and you should be, um, he also takes a while to ramp up. So by the time CAB ramps up, Cena will be ramped up and everything will be working at full productivity. But if you want to squeeze out that little bit extra, that little bit extra until Scene works it in, uh, then yeah, go with Palace. Uh, but it's not needed. It's not like it's better. I mean, it's just, it's just plus five production for an hour. And after that hour is up, then they equal out. So it depends on if that plus five plus zero plus zero point zero five production is worth it to you to try and min max that much. Um, of course, you know I'm a min maxer, so yeah, of course it's worth it to me. But I'm I I've got so many characters to build right now; it's not even funny. So I'm going to be passing up on this. Uh, Pretty seriously, we'll be passing up on this um, for right now. I will eventually build her, but it's going to be a little bit. Um, and let's see, let me check real quick. Is there anybody I need to put in? I think I need to put Ethan in. He's the, oh, he's, the, he's also, so. Um, uh, yeah, all of those should be over there. 
Um, yeah, so since Palace only does... Shut up, shut up. Okay, so since Palace does only plus 25%, she's, on, like I said, she's only on par with somebody like Sia B. She beats Sia B for the first hour, and then they equal out. Um, she beats out... She equals out with... Um, let me go ahead and go back up because I have them right here. Uh, she equals out with... Okay, so Frostleaf beats her. Vigna beats her. And uh, Castle 3 beats her. So as your second string team, any one of these would be better than Palace. So you have to kind of be aware of that um, uh, when you're switching into your second string team. Um, any one of these would be better than... Um, uh, not better on the team though, but be better singly than Palace because of the capacity increase. And none of these have a capacity increase uh, to production in the deal. Uh, she Palace does win out when paired with both Vermel, when paired with Vermel, basically. If you're using the Vermel team. Then see then Palace wins out. If you're not using the Palace uh, the Vermel team, then Frost leave Castle Three and Vigna win out because they have the 30% production. So they're 90% production base. With uh, as you saw with the uh, Palace and for CV with Vermel and Scene, you would be at 91. So they inch out just a little bit, but you have to have your Vermel built up to E1. I think it's all you have to have Vermel at to max her out because she's a four star. Because um, of the capacity increase, the way Vermel works is to boost with um, boost with the increase all capacity limits, and it doesn't matter the bigger the capacity limit as long as they increase the capacity limits. Uh, they don't have to be a high number increase to get more. That's not how her skill works. It only works with um, the um, the the just increases. It does not matter how much the increase is. So, as you can see, I'm padding because I wasn't expecting to get Palace so quickly. <laughs> so I'm padding just a little bit to make it a little bit longer of a video. But yeah. Uh, He's, Palace is good. Don't get me wrong. Palace is good. But you just have to take into account that um, it's not, the base skill is not the best be all end all. If you don't have CAB, fine. Uh, Palace is actually a little bit better than CAB. But if you have CAB, after an hour, they're interchangeable. It just depends on if you want to uh, do that. So let's go over her skills. Um, we have the next physical attack, Dix two hits, which hit for 175% physical damage at N3. Um, you're mainly going to be using this as an M, M, uh, M no mastery skill, so 145% if you ever use this. Uh, skill two is the one that gives you an increase in range. Um, at skill level 7, it gives you plus 1 attack range, plus 50% attack. Attacks have 70% chance to stun the target for 0.2 seconds. So, a little bit of control. If you need a little bit of control, there you go. Up to M3, the uh, chance to stun goes up to 85% from 70%. So, and an 80 plus 80% increase to the attack. Uh, the time for the stun does not go up. It is the same on all skill levels, so just be aware of that. But she also gets an extra range, so this is where you put her, like, back to back behind. Uh, like, your defender will be here. Somebody else, uh, either a healer defender or a guard, another guard or somebody will be in front of her. And Palace back here, who can still attack this enemy. And the bonus with her attacks to um, recover HP of self and the operator in the tile ahead of her so she can actually heal uh, 
the whoever you put in this square right here in front of her while she's attacking all the way out here. Um, it's a it's a really good way to keep get a little bit of extra healing if you need it for whoever is in that rain tile right there. If you don't have like a thorns who also has healing, or if you want extra healing on thorns, because thorns cannot heal while he's attacking. So if thorns is attacking, he cannot heal. But Pallas, while she's attacking, can heal him. So there is that. Uh, I don't know if that would affect Mudrock or not. Because Mudrock cannot be healed directly. And I'm not sure if that's a direct heal. You can heal Mudrock by stuff like Scotty's, Alters, um, heal, uh, talent, talent, and Angelina's talent when she's not using a skill. So... Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this would count. It might. Um, and then we have skill three, which is an attack plus 70% attacks two additional targets. If there's an allied melee operator in the tile ahead of self, grant them the following effects. When HP is higher than 80%, gain vigor effect of plus 40% attack. 25% plus 20 defense plus 25% and block count plus one. If the target is not valid, grant the effect to yourself instead. Um, now, at uh, M3, it's 100% attack with uh, a plus 50 attack to the person in front, 35% defense, but it's still a block count of one. Now, this is interesting because any defender you put her behind instantly becomes a four block defender if they are a three block defender automatically. And if they're not, they're a two-block defender. They become a three-block defender. So it's interesting what you can do there. Uh, still not the greatest thing. Uh, it would still be better to kind of have somebody else. But if you need the beefy up of having a bigger block count for things, there you go. And it also, she does the bigger effect, so they get more attack and defense. And she also still does the recovers 45 HP to whoever this is she's giving this to. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, you could also put her behind somebody like Bagpipe, and Bagpipe would get a two block count, where Bagpipe only has a one block count. So, Bagpipe could actually defend a little bit better if she needs to, if you need Bagpipe as an early person out there to block more things. Um, so there is that. And then her E2, E1 is 12 orc cubes, three devices. And her um, E2 is four of those crystalline electro assemblies and six white horse coals. Uh, and then we have the uh, skills, which... Um, not bad on her M3. This is actually pretty decent. This is actually pretty easy to get. Um, optimized device, a little bit hard, but not bad for the M2. The M1, again, really easy to get. Um, all this stuff is really easy to get for her skill three. What's her skill two look like? Uh, let's see. Okay, this is where it gets kind of interesting. This is a this is a little bit of a deal. It's still pretty easy to get. You just have to farm rocks like crazy, of course. The grindstones, not a problem. Uh, the cubes, if you recently farmed for these actons, you can make the cubes really easy right now. We just had Wolmund, which let us farm the uh, Akaton, Akiton here. So, yeah, uh, these should be easy to make. The polymerized gel, is, I still say it's pretty easy to get, but it can be a little tricky to get in them. This is where, this is where it becomes expensive. The bipolar nanoflakes are really, really expensive for uh, devices, if I remember correctly. The in, in, incandescent alloy block, not so bad. Uh, let me turn this off and we'll go take a look at the crafting of these things. Um, it's over here. And if we go to upgrade materials, so these. These need devices. The optimized device, the big boy devices. And these need devices down here too. So these are going to eat up what you're using to craft these. 
So you're going to need devices. And we had one device event last year, I want to say. And that was... Uh, yeah, was that uh, Undertide? I can't remember. But as you can see, I farmed. I farmed the crap out of devices. And I'm already down to 160. I was at like 300 to 350, somewhere in that range. I'm down to 160 already. And it. I don't think it's... I think it's only been maybe a month. Month and two weeks, month and a half maybe at most. So yeah, uh, these these take a lot because you need you're gonna need six of them for that skill, which means you need six of these, which means you need six of these. Uh, you need twelve of those, and you need six of these to make six of those, and then you need the white horse the white horse coals, which needs the sugar. Which I was, I was fine on sugar before all this raising, and now I cannot keep sugar for the life of me. Um, <laughs> luckily, you can farm sugar pretty easily uh, in a, in a. Oh, sorry about that. In a kind of event thing, I'll show you. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And then you have the um, these, which need six. You're going to need three of these. How many did you need? Real quick, let me check real quick. She needed five of them so you need five more devices of these five more of these and five of those not bad but the devices along with the devices here kind of expensive on devices so you're looking at using 11 devices just to do this uh, yeah 11 devices wow expensive you, you you don't think so, but devices are one of the most things that are hard to get. Um, like I said, we only had the one event, I think, at all in this year that gave us devices as a drop. Uh, if we go to... Uh, not that one. Not that one. Art of Surging Flame. And we go to... This one? Yeah. This is actually the best sugar farm in the game right now. Is in this story deal. The um, the Heart of Surging Flame Obsidian Festival event. Uh, go to enter the event. Go to the second tab down here at the bottom. Click OFF3. And this is your stage. This is your enemies list here. Um, gotta be aware of these guys. These guys cannot be blocked. They're, they're the wrath. Uh, and these guys here, I think, are the these guys stun. So just like the uh, pirate gorge, basically, without crown slayer is basically this stage kind of. Um, if you, uh, they all, every enemy, will has to go around. They can't just go. They can't just come down this way and down this way. They have to go all the way around here. Even the enemies that come out of this enemy block here have to go up and around to get up to the inner deal here. So if you defend this area section right here with a defend with a uh, sniper, a, a blaze, a defender, whatever, uh, maybe a healer if you need it, you'll you'll be fine. You can you can three you can two two this or three this however you want to do it, um, and you can put out like the way I think I have mine set up is I have blaze right here facing this way. I have blue poison up here facing this way, and then I have cow here, and I put monster here. And the only reason cow and monster are there are to take the stunning guys hits. Uh, so they'll draw the fire of the stunning guys, so blue poison and blaze can just kill things pretty quick, easily. Uh, they don't, they, I don't think they get stunned at all, either one of them. Um, but they have to make that whole traveling deal to get to, uh, to get up here to get into the blue box, so it's not a big thing. They travel from here, around, down, back over here, back up to go through this 
tile here. It's very hard to see. And that tile leads up to right here, so they go through the box. And then these guys, they got a little bit of a shorter path, but they still got to go down, around, and up to get up through here. So it does take a little bit for them to come through. Uh, it takes a while for them to, they got a long path, and it's pretty easy to set up to deal with them. Um, so that is where you go to get your sugar if you're low on sugar, I guess. And I've got to be, I guess that's going to be it for me today. I, I was seriously not expecting to get, get her, uh, this easily. Uh, yeah, I have like 646 prime that I bought and saved up. I had like, like 120, like last week. And then I started buying. I was expecting to spend my normal amount. I usually have like, a, a, I usually get to like around this amount and then go down to like 30,000. And that's when I call it if I don't get the operator I want. Unless I really, really, really want that operator like I like I would for Cal here. Uh, yeah. So I was expecting to spend a lot more. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I hope your pools go as well as mine did because I was incredibly lucky. Yeah. So I'll see everybody later. Thanks for watching and bye.